Yeah. All right. Well, uh, obviously, very, very tough opponent. Um, you know, Haas and Swanigan, will, they'll play in the NBA. Um, so they're big. They're talented. Uh, always well coached. Always tough. Um, you know, they're shooting the ball well. Uh, came off an extremely uh, impressive performance versus Iowa. Um, Dakota Mathias is much improved. Edwards, uh, both Edwards are very, very talented players. Uh, so I think they're one of the best teams in the league, and uh, it's a tough, um, you know, road experience. So uh, it'll be a good test for our guys. Is this another big test for your big men? Yeah, very much so. Um, this, this, uh, you know, even more so than Michigan State. Um, you know, Michigan State when they get healthy, obviously with Bridges, but uh, they're really physical. Um, you know, Swanigan. Um, you know, as an NBA player, and Haas is huge. He'll play in the NBA, so uh, we've got to do our best. Um, you know, to to guard them uh, without fouling. Um, you know, because so much of what they do from an offensive standpoint is predicated on throwing the ball inside. Um, almost everything they do is that. So it really revolves around uh, all around that. So if you if you don't play post defense, you're in trouble. Is that something you've been stressing to Reggie and some of the guys is to stay out of foul trouble at least early, try to get the minutes up a little bit? Well, Reggie, certainly, um, you know, but it's, it's not stay out of foul trouble. It's play defense without fouling. Um, you know, it's just like screening, you know. Uh, oh, you know, I, I didn't set an illegal screen. It's like, no, the goal is to set a great screen. Uh, the goal is to play great defense. Um, and, you know, great defense is, is doing it without fouling. So, you know, um, he's got to get better at that. That's been an issue. Uh, for Reggie, I know most of his career, uh, you know, and it, it's just funny. Just we have not been able to work with Reggie, so it just feels like now we're able to really work with him on it, and uh, he'll get better at it. It seemed like the Florida State game was one that um, kind of resembled what you guys have faced in the Big Ten. I mean, not well, actually Purdue specifically. Yeah. Um, do you look back at that game at all with these guys because maybe they haven't played Swanigan before, or, and obviously Reggie. And, not here, but. Yeah, I mean, it, there's some similarities. I mean, Haas and Ojo were huge. Um, you know, now I don't think that, you know, Jonathan Isaac's a different player than Swanigan, but there are some similarities. But I, I think, you know, Michigan State is very similar from a physicality standpoint to Purdue. So I think we've kind of moved on from Florida State, to be honest. And it's, uh, you know, last game is fresh with our guys from a physicality standpoint, from a post defense standpoint. Uh, so, you know, more talk about that. With specifically Ward, um, you know, him and Swanigan, uh, they're not the tallest guys, but, you know, they, once they get positioned, it's tough on a guy like Reggie. I mean, even some of your, like, like Eric Curry, Bakari. Um, when you play a guy with that much physical strength, I mean, what, what kind of a, what do you It's hard, you know, I mean, Swanigan, or, or I thought uh, uh, Bakari did a good job on Ward, um, you know, and even Eric was okay. Um, you know, but it's difficult. You know, you got to do your work early with those big guys. Um, and they really, really, it's a different dimension than Michigan State because they really, really, they're trying to go inside every single time. Um, you know, and then they make you pay with really good players. Vince Edwards, um, you know, uh, Klein, um, you know, all those guys who can make shots to Dakota Mathias, uh, they burn you if you overhelp too much. So, you know, that's what a good team does, and they're a very, very good team. You talked about in your blog about uh, trying to get the ball to Murphy a little bit more, and then Reggie obviously wanting him to finish more, or use the, use the term above the rim. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? Pretty self-explanatory, but I'll, I'll go into it. Um, yeah, I think with, with Murph, I think we, we just, you know, throughout the flow of the offense, we need to find ways to get him the ball more. Um, you know, and it, it's, uh, I think he's pretty effective down there. Um, and, you know, with Reggie, he, he's just too below the rim. He gets a shot blocked a lot. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily the last game, um, but it's just a consistent thing with him to work on. I mean, you know, last game, you can't take much from it because he can play a lot. Uh, you know, but I thought Murph has been pretty efficient. Um, and, you know, we got to continue to, throughout the flow of the offense, look into him. I mean, I think offensively, we're very, very difficult to guard when we're driving, obviously, because we get fouled a lot. But we've got to look down to him more often. This is a stretch of, I think, four of uh, the next five on the road. Um, you know, different mentality for guys who haven't been on the road in the Big Ten. They've been Florida State, but this is a little different. Can you talk about what you 
your mindset with these guys? Well, I, I think it's – I talked to them a little bit about, you know, last game you have a devastating loss, right? And um, you can't look at it like that. You, you've got to say, okay, it's one game. You know, I remember my first year, I, I want to say we played like three top ten teams in two weeks or whatever it was. I mean, this league – you got to learn from the last game and you got to move on um, because as disappointing as Michigan State was, you now get to play a top 10, top 15 team in the country on the road. You get another great opportunity. Then you go at Northwestern, another very good team. Then you go, what, at Michigan State again. So um, it, it, you can't get too high. You can't get too low, um, you know, because, because this league is so good, you're going to have so many opportunities to get really good wins. Um, you know, so you've got to learn from the past game. And then you got to get over it. You got to move on. You got to get better. Anything else, for Coach? Uh, quickly about uh, just the the front court rotation. I know in non conference early on, Bakari didn't play much, and then there's a point midway through where he was giving you good minutes. And now it seems like I mean he's a guy that right behind Reggie, you feel you know pretty comfortable with. He's got experience in the Big Ten. I mean, yeah. it's, he's going to be key tomorrow, obviously. Well, they're all important, um, but Bakari, um, he does a pretty good job versus physical bigs. You know, the one thing about Bakari is he's strong, uh, he is physical, he likes contact. Um, you know, he, he, he doesn't shy away from that. Um, you know, so, and in the Big Ten, you need that. Um, you know, where we got to get him is to stop fouling. Somebody, you know, he had fouls in the first half of the Michigan State game that were just, there was no point of it. Um, you know, so if we could get him to stop doing that, uh, he's a valuable weapon off the bench, and he's a very good defender. Uh, he's tough. He's physical. He plays very, very hard. Plays a great passion. So he's given us a really good uh, dimension to where now we don't necessarily have to play small with Eric at the five. Um, you know, and I like that rotation. Do you think uh, Jordan's role has kind of evolved a little bit from last year in terms of maybe a little bit more jumpers or perimeter attacks? Um, not really. No, I don't think he's taking a lot of jumpers. Um, you know, I think he needs to continue to get points, offensive rebounds, transition. I do like him driving off of a ball, off of a ball screen pop type situation. Um, but I don't think he's taking a lot of jumpers. But, you know, I think he's a matchup issue. And uh, we've got to put him in spots uh, to make the defense pay. So, you know, he's, um, he's kind of that undersized four. He's difficult to guard. Um, you know, and, and uh, I think he's a bit of a matchup issue. So do you try to mix up his attack in any way possible, like try to post up some, try to shoot some a little bit during the game? Well, we run a ball screen offense, so, okay. you know, it's just kind of roll, pop. Uh, if you do roll, roll into the post, throw it in there. If you do pop, look to drive it or look to reverse it, set another ball screen. Uh, you know, so, I mean, there's multiple things that you can do throughout the course of our offense if you're running it properly. I mean, I think our our offense is behind. Our defense is very clear. Um, but that's five new faces and all trying to figure out what to do, where to be. Uh, so that, that needs to catch up uh, because our defense is pretty good right now. But we got to get our offense moving in the right direction. We've been very good at getting fouled, um, you know, but we need, we're still not moving the ball the way we need to move it.